Yes, it's me, Flyman Mavic. Thank you very much, as always, for joining me today. This is the DJI Vision app. Now, if you are a Vision Plus or a Vision owner, you'll be familiar with this app. If you are familiar with it, you'll notice there's something a little bit different. Yes, the banner across the top, a little battery icon and a little countdown timer. Why is this doing this? More importantly, how is it doing it? I'm going to tell you. First of all, as you can see, looking at the Vision Plus in front of me, it's not coming from there. And as the title suggests, it's actually coming from, from this, a Phantom 2 Vision Plus, but it has a GoPro Hero 4 and a Zenmus gimbal. Now, in case you weren't aware, the original Phantom 2 Vision Plus gimbal is actually a Zenmus. If you go into the software, it will recognise it as a Zenmus gimbal. Why would I use a GoPro instead of the Vision Plus camera? Well, to start with, this is a 4K camera, so I can record in 4K. The Vision Plus was just standard 1080p at 30 frames. Um, plus GoPro does make better cameras. DJI make better quads. GoPro make better cameras. GoPro don't make good drones. Yes, that was a karma joke. Um, as you know, the karma had issues. So, how have I done this? It's dead simple. And first of all, I'd like to say thanks to RC Geeks Forum because I came across this thread a while back. And speci uh, specifically, <laughs> uh, sorry, loose teeth. Specifically, a chap called Pitcher8811 who put the guide together uh, for how this is done. So, let's take a look at how you can use a GoPro camera on a Zenmus gimbal and still get the live feed on the DJI Vision app. So this is what's inside your uh, Vision Plus, as you can see the camera there. Uh, ignore the fact there's no arms, this is part of my uh, Wi-Fi module repair service test rig. This is where I test the modules on that people send to me. To do the, the modification is really quite simple. Um, First of all, you want to take out the Wi-Fi module, um, just briefly. So unplug the two aerials, unplug this is the power lead, unplug this little one at the side, and unplug the one at the back, and put the module down to one side for a moment. Now, obviously the camera's not going to be on. Uh, don't mount the Zenmus gimbal or the GoPro quite yet. Inside here, there are a little bracket the cables run through, as you can see here. You need to undo those two screws, and take the cables completely out. The only cable you're going to want to keep out of all of this is this one that has the little plug that goes in the back of the Wi-Fi module. That actually looks like, let's put that to one side, that actually looks like this when you take it out. And it is that one. That's when you're going to need for the modification. And I'll show you that when I put it all together in a moment. So once the Wi-Fi module's out and the cables are all out, you're going to mount up your Zenmus gimbal. Now the best thing about the Zenmus gimbal is the screw holes line up perfectly for it. You will need to buy yourself one of these. This is an 8 pin cable for Zenmus and it is uh, the longer version. The one that comes with your Phantom 2 Vision just isn't long enough so you will have to go and buy this. This is in the cable pack uh, DJI Phantom 2. Um, they're quite rare so if you can get hold of one, great. My advice though would be just to go and buy a Phantom 2 with a Zenmus gimbal attached. You can pick them up dirt cheap uh, off eBay. So you're going to need this cable. Take out all the cables apart from, uh, uh, leave this one as I said. I will go over to the one I built up previously that was working as you saw. So what you need to plug in here is your two aerials in there, your power lead in there, this cable that you've taken out. You plug into this port here, marked CAM, that end in, like so. And then that end simply goes in the back of the module here, as it did originally. Like so. You just need to cable tidy those out of the way so they don't snag on anything. Now your Zenmus cable, as you can see on this one here, I run it from the Zenmus up past the compass cable. And then it goes on to the anti-interference board here, which is still plugged in as it was originally there. And that's it. That's the modification complete. You now have FPV view from a GoPro camera on the DJI Vision app. Simple. You know, I never realised you could do this. I, I, people ask me a lot of the time when they've got a damaged camera, is there any way they can replace it with a GoPro? And normally I just say, well, you can, but you won't be able to see you know uh, what the camera sees and it's really good 
Now, as I said, this did come from RC Geeks. Again, thanks to Pitcher8811 for his input and everybody else who's inputted onto the thread. I will put a link uh, down below in the description for uh, the actual thread itself. It starts at page 17 and goes up to about page 52. It's worth reading because not only can you do this with the Zenmus, you can also do it with third-party gimbals as well. Won't go into detail. Uh, read the thread from 17 uh, up to, well, I got up to about 38 before... Um, I, I realised what I needed. Now then, that's the pros. Unfortunately, um, there are cons. Uh, first one, you can't hit record or take picture in the app. It doesn't work. Simple as that. That's about the only downside that I can think of. Uh, you can still uh, change your camera settings on the GoPro if you want to change them beforehand. This is basically just a viewing screen. You can't make any changes to anything else. You do, however, get your telemetry data, your altitude, your distance, and your uh, flight battery, and your range extender battery, which is you know quite good. Uh, what else was there that didn't work? Ah, yes, uh, most important. I'm not got it with me at the moment, but my iPhone 6 Plus, if you use the iPhone version, you don't get telemetry, you don't get battery level, and you don't get satellite count either. You get nothing. Uh, you just get the view on the screen. Uh, it's best if you use an Android. Uh, S5, S6, uh, S7s do work uh, with the DJI Vision app. But also that, but if we go back to the phone, uh, Ultimate Flight app by Canago works with this. Literally for Phantom 2 also works as modification. Uh, and of course the DJI Vision app also works. Now, you can still do your um, waypoint modes, uh, literally the Phantom 2 is better for it, and so is the Ultimate Flight app. So it's, it, 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 you're on a win-win. Um, it, it, it's really good. I'm glad that I found this. Um, as I say, I purposefully went out and brought this Phantom 2 with a Zenmus gimbal just so I can test it. Uh, and if you do decide to go down that path, all you will need to do is to change the transmitter board here. This is a 2.4 version, obviously. You'll need to change that for the 5.8 version that you find in your Phantom 2 Vision Plus. Now, unfortunately, for you Vision owners, this won't work uh, unless you're able to get hold of uh, a Wi-Fi module. Uh, because it uses that and the Vision camera has this bit built into it, uh, this, this won't work for you unless you get one of these uh, uh, Wi-Fi modules. Uh, I'm very sorry to tell you that. You will, of course, also need uh, the upgraded controller with the gimbal, and that will tilt the gimbal up and down as well, which is rather cool. Uh, if you haven't got the upgraded controller, um, you can fit one of those tilt levers to the back. Um, very tricky things to get working. The problem with that is, is if you tilt it down too far or move it too far off centre, this will just continue going down. The bit fiddly, the, the, the Channel 7 ones. You can't move it up and down from within the app. So that's what you'll need to do with it. But yeah, uh, it's a, a replacement for the Phantom 2 Vision Plus camera. I'm glad that I found the, uh, the thread for it. And I'm glad that I was actually able to prove to myself that it does work. So if that's what you want to do, um, great. Let me know if you have any problems. Uh, as always, leave me a comment down below. And if you like the video, please do like it, do share it, subscribe to the channel if you're not already uh, a subscriber to it. Otherwise, that's it for me. Oh, sorry, no, before we go, ha, what's well, something else? Uh, do read the thread because there are things sort of relating to uh, flicker on the video um, and uh, changing the gains for stability. The little rubber balls, it recommends changing out. But again, read the thread. Uh, it's got all the information you need in there for it. Otherwise, that's it. Um, this will probably be my last video now because it's Christmas next week. So um, a Merry Christmas to everyone who has a Merry Christmas. And if you're one of those who prefer Happy Holidays, then okay, Happy Holidays. Um, and I will see you all in the new year.